Started 13-3, and three, then only won two games the rest of the way. Here's Richard Pitino. Open the floor for questions. Thank you. Um, excited to be here. Uh, Big Ten Media Day is always the highlight of my year, uh, so I'm fired up about it. Anyone picking up on that? Any questions? <laughs> we have third row here on the right. Marcus Fuller, Minneapolis Star Tribune. Coach, can you talk about the next uh, step for Jordan Murphy and his development? Obviously, senior year, a lot of expectations for him and the program. You know, I think for, for Jordan, obviously, um, you know, from a team-wise, where he wants to go, obviously, NCAA tournament, back atop the Big Ten. Um, you know, but personally for him, I know he wants to play in the NBA. And I told him, I said, you've got the numbers. I mean, you have shown that you can produce at our level, at a very high level. Now it comes down to, can you show them how hard you play every single possession from a rebounding standpoint? Be, be like Kenneth Fareed, every situation that you can do, go try to get that rebound. Uh, obviously, Dennis Rodman would be the one you always think about. Um, but just continue to do what you do. You know, you, you are who you are, and you've gotten to where you've gotten because you haven't gotten away from that. Don't get away from what you're really, really good at. Third row on the left. Coach Martin Soares from Basketball Society. I'm from New Jersey, New York, so you know I got to ask you about Isaiah. Um, can you just talk about his off season, what he's worked on, what you think he might be able to develop and, and contribute more to this season? Yeah, he's been really good. Um, he's he's grown a lot on the court. You know, it, with all freshmen, it's habits. Um, for him. As difficult as all the injuries were, it thrusted him into uh, mean meaningful minutes. Uh, so now it's just a matter of terminology, understanding offensively, defensively, never taking a playoff, um, just understanding the difference between high school and college, AAU and college. Um, you know, but I, I think he's had a terrific summer, terrific fall. Uh, he's got a great opportunity in front of him. Adam Jardy with the Columbus Dispatch. In the last couple of years, you've had some ups and some downs and some injuries and some off-the-court things. What have you maybe learned about yourself as a coach, and how do you think these last couple of years have helped shape you as you try to maybe level it off a little bit and, and consistently stay in the top half of the conference? Well, I'm a lot better when we have a healthy roster um, as a coach. Uh, you know, I think that at the end of the day, when you're building a program to get stability, it takes some time. I will think I thought we were there last year. I, I thought that my fourth year being two years ago was an important year for us to show progress. Obviously, we did that. I thought last year was, was going to allow us to really, really build some great momentum um, with the new facility, with two really good seasons in a row, hopefully, theoretically. Um, we can't allow last year to derail that momentum. Um, you know, but from a, for me... I'm 36 years old. You know, I read something the other day that this is my 15th year of being a coach in Division One. Um, I'm very, very lucky uh, to be a part of that, be a part of some really good teams. But you get better. You know, experience is something that when you're young, you think it's irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. Um, you can only learn so much until you actually do it. Uh, so I've had a lot of really good experiences in Minnesota and hope to build off them. Uh, Paul Orn of the Northwest Indiana Times. You added Brock Stoll this year. You've got Rob Jeter as well. You had Akeem a couple years ago. What, what do you see from Coach Jeter and from Brock this year? What do you expect from him? Coach Jeter's been great. Um, you know, obviously had a really good run at Milwaukee. Um, surprised that he was uh, let go. I think a lot of people were. And I got to know him a little bit. He came in and beat us, you know, and I had a lot of respect for him. Um, a couple of years ago, everybody beat us. I tell him that all the time, so don't, don't get too excited. Everybody beat us that year. But he's, he's, he sees the big picture very well. And, and that's what you get when you hire uh, former head coaches, you know, who have done it. He's done it for a long time. He obviously was an assistant coach under Bo Ryan. He knows how to win in this league. He knows how to recruit the area. Uh, and he's a really good person. So he's been a terrific addition to our staff. Um, as for Brock Stahl, He's getting in shape. You know, he was, he was not with us till about September, early September, because he was doing his academics. And it's hard when a guy's in Milwaukee 
you can't work with him. Um, he's probably not over at Milwaukee every day working out, um, you know, because th- that staff and that team's probably moved on. Uh, so it's going to take some time, like you did with Akeem. Uh, but I really, I, I expect Brock to be ready to go. He's a smart player, and he's produced at a high level. Hey, Coach. Uh, Steve Hellwagon, 24-7 Sports. Uh, not sure if you've been around the league long enough to when it was uh, 16 games to then 18 and now to 20. But uh, just just your thought about going to the 20-game schedule and uh, those two games replace mid-major games that you would have played in your own arena where you probably were going to go 2-0 and now it could be 0-2, it could be 1-1, it could be 2-0. But do you like the idea that you're playing top uh, major conference teams you, you, from your own conference, obviously, just better competition. I do like it. Yeah, I think it's good for everybody. I think that, you know, Commissioner Delaney's brought it up a couple of times, but we've got to figure out from a college basketball standpoint how to capture our fans uh, in November and December. And, you know, for us to be able to get quality opponents in your building is important to us uh, early because our fan base loves it. More importantly, though, um, you know, last year from studying what the NCAA tournament was looking at, they're looking at how many good wins you have. They're not looking at who you lose to. That really is irrelevant uh, anymore. I mean, certainly we don't want to lose. But if you can stack up as many quality quad one, quad two, wins as you can it's good for everybody so um i think it's great i think a lot of the power five or power six conferences will go to that um i guess biggies probably can't but you know for for us i think it's uh it's really really smart and i think it's a good idea any other questions for coach and please remember to stand when you're asking your uh, question all right coach patino thank you so much thank you